The RD8200SG, along with some surface maps, is now available for iPhone users. Super exciting, super fast. You're going to still be able to do all your mapping to a cloud-based system, and in that cloud-based system, still be able to sync up to Esri servers, Esri systems, export to Esri, export to Google Earth, export to CSV. But now with the BLE capabilities within the SG, you can go lightning fast. So nothing's going to slow your locates down. You're going to be able to save all your locates to the cloud for future locates. You can maybe even utilize just the map itself to relocate just using a GNSS RTK device with your map. No more transmitter hookups. Think about the possibilities. Let's get started. We first want to update our receiver. If you purchased your SG before this update came out, we're going to have to plug it into RD Manager Online. That is a free software that we can download from the radio detection website or from Subsurface Solutions website. Once it's downloaded and installed and you're logged in, plug in using the USB port inside the battery compartment and it will recognize your unit. You should see your serial number download and if you go to the tab that says firmware update, we're going to see what the upgraded version is and compare it to our current version. If the upgraded version is newer, we're going to be able to hit the right button. So write that and get it installed into your receiver up in the top left hand corner. Once that's installed, you can go ahead and unplug it. Be aware that this may take eight to 10 minutes, so don't interrupt the, the update. But once it's installed, let's now enable iOS. So push the on off key on the receiver once the unit's on. Go into the menu. First thing on the menu, you're going to see volume. Let's scroll down using the down arrow just once, maybe twice, and find the word phone. We're going to go into the phone option and change it from Android to iOS if it's not on iOS already. Once you see iOS, let's go ahead and lock that in by hitting the frequency button. Once you hit the frequency button, go back to the regular screen, and we are set to go, my friend. What's next? Downloading the app. Let's go in to the App Store, the iOS App Store, and download Subsurface Maps. Go ahead and log in with your same credentials and download a map if one's not downloaded already. Open that map, and step number one, let's pair our GPS antenna. Push the menu key, and then push GPS status. So once we go into the GPS status area, we're gonna actually see uh, be able to select a GPS source. And so scan for the new Bluetooth devices around you. So once you hit scan for new Bluetooth devices, it may take a little while, but you're going to see your serial number of your receiver come up. And what we're looking for is your serial number that starts with an RTK. The RTK is the antenna. We are first pairing up to the antenna on the front of the receiver. Once you select that, we are already connected to the GPS and you should start seeing GPS come in, but we want to get that GPS more accurate. So standalone, it's going to be maybe a foot and a half accurate. But if we start using an NTRIP client by hitting the NTRIP client there, put in the NTRIP address along with the port number, the user ID and password, download our mount points and always select a mount point that starts with RTCM or has RTCM in it and then hit start. Once you start receiving data and see the kilobytes moving, you're going to see your accuracy on the bottom of the screen go down and down really quick. So right now we're about a half a foot accurate, but we're going to be within inches probably in the next three or four seconds here. There we are. And so now that we got that going, we're going to go ahead and hit the close button on the top right of our antenna. And then we want to go to draw. We want to go to GPS trace and select our points layer, which we normally just use depth points to get started and then select what type of line you want to do. So let's say, let's do a water line. Let's go ahead and select water line. And then underneath that on the just lower left right there, let's click on the settings button and let's tell, tell this device what locator we're using. So hit select again, scan for Bluetooth devices. We're going to find the serial number once again, but this time we're going to use the one that does not say RTK. So go ahead and still find your same serial number that you can find on the front of the receiver underneath the barcode, match it up, select it, and you're going to see it connected immediately. So now we have the BLE connected to both antennas, um, the, well, the locator and the front antenna, and you're going to be able to get started. So go ahead and map your little hearts out. This is a super fast connection. You'll be super happy. Please let us know. 
what your thoughts are. If you have any other suggestions on how we can improve subsurface maps, we're all ears, and we're also here to help. So give us a call if you run into any troubles, but I hopefully this instructional video will help you out.